I think it would taste better with the rice, with actual rice. This is cauliflower rice, and I really don't care for cauliflower rice that much. But it is a strong pineapple taste to it, since they got the pineapples and pineapple juice in here. And the dressing. Bow girls, not bad. I did want to add. They call this Jamaican fried chicken rice or something like that. Jamaican fried rice. Yeah. Ooh, I don't remember that fried rice. That's my sister. Yeah, we both agree that it's, it don't taste Jamaican -y at all. Um, it tastes more tropical because the pineapple and the pineapple dressing. I would have liked them to use more jerk seasoning in here. But I said, um, I won't know if I want to get this one again, only because it's not, it's like a weird taste to it, but it's not weird, weird. Like you can eat it and it's okay to eat it. It's not overall weirdy but i don't know if i would say it's my favorite so that's why i say i probably won't get it again I don't know. all right I got um, strawberries and raspberries. And then this is how the plate on ball. No, just break it with your fork. Like so. And you definitely taste the onions because I put it all in the um, meat off my neighbor also supposed to go with the potatoes and um, green peppers. But whatever, I still taste good. You're also probably tasting the um the sauce. It has hot sauce, sugar, barbecue sauce. It says ketchup. I don't have ketchup in my house, y'all. So I use barbecue sauce with barbecue seasoning <laughs> too. Eh, I think right. Marissa likes it. It's a Mercer Brew. The other one didn't approve. <laughs> um, this one is from Every Plate, just so y'all don't get this confused. This is a Every Plate meal. And the other one was Green Chef. <laughs> it's another keto meal she's not happy and it's from green chef um you may see mine first um i put tomatoes on my chicken only because i did use the dairy free um cream cheese on mine and i used regular cream cheese that came with the meal on hers um she also only has two squash because I don't know if she's gonna like it. And then she got less of the um, chopped greens too, cause again, I don't know if she's gonna like it. So I might as well not give it to her. But it also went down to really nothing, so. You ready? The squash isn't bad, it's very tender. Yeah. 
You didn't even eat the squash. You just ate the chicken. Eat this. this don't got no flavor. This the green. It really don't got no flavor. Kind of does to me. Like the only flavor it has is the sauce and the garlic, and that's it. So. It's green, of course. You gotta add flavor to it. Yeah, but that's it. The squash don't really taste like anything. It just mushy. Like. And then, I don't like the skin though. The skin is too tough. But I do like that they had me brown the butter and put butter on top of the squash. It does help it. I say try it. Try a small piece of it. I may eat all the squash today. Cause this is good. I like it. And the butter makes it taste better. That's my beans. She said small. So I'm gonna get it. Try it. I don't think she's gonna taste it with that small piece. Did you taste it? You got the skin, so you gotta get a piece that don't have skin here. Yeah. I'm gonna cut it smaller so she don't be irritated by it. I'm already irritated. Yeah. Oh. That don't taste like nothing. What? Well, that's a teenager response to a keto meal. At this point, we on meal four. I don't even know. It's meal four. We have two more. We have two more um, meals. One from the last. Two. This is every plate. This is the onion smothered chicken one. So let's try. I gave her the bigger breast this time because she looked at me last time. Huh? And I didn't give her the bigger breast. I gave you the bigger breast this time. I couldn't tell the difference. I could when I was cooking. Baby carrots. Nope, no. Don't really bad taste for. No bad. No bad. Nope. It tastes like something I would typically make. I think my chicken would be more seasoned than this chicken. Um, I typically not a biscuit eater, <laughs> but I do always have biscuits in my house because I have family members that are biscuit eaters. Point your biscuit hands at me. Biscuit eater. Croissant eater. Cinnamon roll eater. <laughs> no, I don't eat that stuff. But that's not bad. Um yeah. Your thoughts? Nice. It's approval. See you guys for the Next one. Okay. 
Okay, so Marissa didn't want to be in the video. I'm over here. But she, I wasn't finished. <laughs> but she's over like across from me instead of next to me. So we let's give this a try. I really don't like cauliflower rice at all, so. I'm gonna eat it. Let's try the flour rice. Are you smoking here? Yeah, almond. Okay. This isn't bad. It's very mushy. And the olives overpower the taste of it, though. Carrots gonna taste like carrots. Mm, chicken is just chicken to me. I got a tangy taste to it. Cause it's a um it's a lime not lime, lemon um dressing lemon sauce on it. Not bad. I think I'll do this without the cauliflower rice. Probably um just car the carrots and the chicken or regular rice, but um but wild rice or, or brown rice instead. So. Okay, so we got the soup, the chicken sausage soup. So we go for it. It's hot. It tastes like the other soup we had. Do I just chicken me here? Well, I see it's bread. Mm-hmm. Instead of, um, so we had, um, something similar like this before. Um, instead of just grounding up the chicken sausage meat, mm -hmm. this time they made me making it into a meatball. I think the difference also they put in here is the carrots and the, um, the bread. Add some vegan sour cream to mine. Mm. Oh, this is a meatball with fish. Yeah. Yeah. It's a meatball dish. Fishy, 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 squishy, fishy. What for the, then tomorrow then? Hmm? What for tomorrow then? Mm hmm. I don't feel like cooking no more. Huh, I cook every out. day this week. Eating out. All right, we'll give y'all our final reviews on all the meals after we finish eating. Bye.